nightfall in an hour, then we can strike out for the chateau. The fact is, the moment Savage gets that crown on his head, he'll be able to do whatever he likes with the country that I love. And that is why you and I have got to stop him. A relishing the thought? Something like that. I suppose you've made love to lots of women, haven't you, Johnny? It's just, well, it's been three years since my fiance left me and, well, since then I haven't made love to anyone. But then I met you. And I felt this hunger deep down inside. I wanted to say things to you. I wanted to do things to you that I haven't wanted to do in a very, very, very long time. What sort of things are we talking about? Things like punching <laughs> you in the face. Things like kicking you in the backside for being such a pompous, know-nothing asshole. But then I started to see beyond the idiot that everybody else saw. I started to see the man on the inside. The man who was determined to do his duty no matter what or who lay in his way. And I began to feel other things for it. To want to do other things for it. Things involving plastic toys and soft cheese. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You're toying with me, aren't you? You're telling me to stop in the gentlest way you know how. No, no, no. You're no. such a special person, Johnny. Not to take advantage of me while I'm vulnerable. No, well... So thank you for being such a gentleman. you're thinking, Miss Campbell? You're thinking if we don't pull this off, God knows what might happen to England. Actually, I was thinking there must be a better way in than that pipe. Well, there isn't. I've analysed it from every possible angle, and this is the best option. I'll go in first, and if there's a clear way through, I'll call down, OK? Johnny! Be careful. I'm always careful. In a few hours' time, I will become the next king of England. It's only a bit of poo. What is the one commodity the world never seems to run out of? 
criminals, gentlemen, law breakers. Every nation in the world struggles with the issue of overcrowded prisons. So, what do we do with all these prisons? Find the solution to that problem, and the governments of the world will pay you to their nose. Fortunately, I have found a solution. We empty every prison on the entire planet. We take the resulting tidal wave of human scum and we put it here. The moment I am crowned king, I will turn England into the largest prison in the history of the world. 210,000 square miles of prime real estate conveniently separated from true civilization by 20 miles of ocean and soon to be available for the entire world to dump its human waste in. According to current projections, we will not run out of prison space for the next 500 years. So, tonight, one and only one of you will leave here owning 49% of this venture. My so that's his little game. We must get hold of that DVD. But how, Johnny? There's only two of us. You're young, Miss Campbell, and inexperienced. What you seem to have forgotten is that nobody knows we are here. At our disposal, we have the vital element of surprise. Mm. Now, my plan is simple but effective. I shall drop from the gallery at this end of the room and take Sauvage prisoner. You will then enter from the far door, cutting off any means of escape. Then, using Sauvage as a hostage, we'll get the hell out of here. Clear? Get him up, you French ponce. But, Mr. English, I'm gobsmacked. What an unexpected surprise. Surprises are very much my speciality, Sauvage. I think we've seen enough of this. I know exactly what you're planning, and I'm here to put a stop to it. My bottom will be King of England before you are. Wrong again? Perhaps you'd care to look behind you. Oh, please. Lola! I'm sorry, Johnny. Well, I'm afraid that we'll have to conclude the floor show for tonight. Not so fast, Sauvage. You may have taken me, but you'll never take England. Not as long as I have breath in my body or a bullet in my gun. You know, Mr. English, I'm going to miss you, really. You're very entertaining. I thank you. Take them away. Good morning, everybody. Bonjour tout le monde, and welcome to The Breakfast Show. Bienvenue au spectacle du Petit Déjeuner. And as the crowds are gathering here for the crowning of our first French king since the year 1066, we ask you to call us here at London FM with the top ten things you most love about the French. We haven't had any calls yet uh, at all, but the lines are still open, and I'll give you that number again, encore une fois, uh, 0207 0207. This is not good.